or will be led by the police about what they actually think. And obviously in each case they'll have to go to the courts and make that case to the independent judges. But where there's enough evidence and you can put on one of these orders, and particularly if these younger people, so many getting drawn to a life on crime, it's about preventing them from actually picking up that knife and carrying it in the first place. And what that means, it might mean restrictions in terms of curfews, even in terms of some of the relationships that they can have with the gang members. It can have a, a, a sort of order on a, making them maybe join a, a group that can help them exit from gangs. It can be an education program. It's all about preventing young people from turning to, onto a life on crime and actually understanding the risks of carrying a knife. Well, I, I want to make sure that we are doing everything we can to stop some of this senseless violence that is taking place on our streets, traumatising so many communities and ending too many young lives. And that means making sure, first of all, police have resources, and we're increasing that, making sure also they have the powers that they need. And this is a new power, knife crime prevention orders that will allow the police working with the courts to put curfews on young people, to uh, encourage them to go to uh, education classes about the uh, the risks of carrying a knife to even uh, uh, to stop them from using social media in some circumstances about uh, actually doing whatever you can to prevent them from turning to life and crime.